Hello, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3. We're on the Immortal Empires campaign with my man, Marcus Wolfhart. He hits that cue for me every time. Thank you. That's right, Marcus Wolfhart of the Empire, hanging out in Lustria. And it's me, your average potato. This is part 20, and I know I have said before that uh, sort of on the 10, um, every 10, sort of, you know, 20, 30, uh, I would do an hour long episode. Um, my new job, everyone, is kicking my butt, um, and I am exhausted, so I, I'm going to try to keep this relatively short, um, because I am, I am tired, so I, I just have to, I have to say I'm going to try to keep these episodes a little shorter. Also, I should say tomorrow, uh, Thursday, probably won't have an episode out due to uh, just where I record this and some, it is at uh, an office that my dad works at, but he needs it for the time that I would be recording, so I, I definitely won't have an episode out. It looks, it's looking like every Thursday, uh, just for now on. And the only other, uh, but I will try to get out an episode Friday and Saturday over the Easter long weekend, um, so that you have some content to watch while you maybe you're off as well. Um, but yeah, this job has is, is it's in. it's awesome. I'm loving it. Um, I was talking to the general manager today, and he was saying normally they train us for a month before they put us out in front of the service to deal with customers, but because they've had so many people quit, and basically what the other guy who is working there, he gave his two weeks notice on Monday, so he's he's not even gonna be around in two weeks. They've sort of had to throw me and this other new guy uh, right into the lion's den, and uh, you know, there, there's other people around helping us, but we're constantly, you know, I'm constantly having this, you know, deal with a customer. They come to me with a problem I've never experienced before. I have to go find someone who has dealt with it. Um, and you can, you can only imagine what that's that's been like. I don't know if you've ever taken your car to an automotive service. You you I know you you know you're paying lots of money, things like that. The last thing you need is some newbie who doesn't know what's going on. So, and my desire to help people is so high that it it just sort of puts me into a stress level of um, wanting to help but not knowing enough to help. So uh, I'm, I'm trying to soak, be a sponge, soak up as much as I can as I'm doing it. But I, again, everything is hitting me. And you know, I'm like, it's, it's like a sieve of sand, uh, maybe retaining 1% of the 100, 100 things I'm learning at a time. So, you know, again, with experience, I will get better. But uh, that sort of stress level of trying to help people when you've not been able to know how to help people, uh, is a bit is a bit frustrating. So if you've ever been in that boat, drop a comment in the section down below. You know, send some of your luck and love my way. I'd really appreciate that. And thank you to everyone who has been commenting. I really do appreciate it. Really, really makes me feel like I'm starting to build a little bit of a community here that uh, we can all sort of, you know, uh, join in my uh, s sort of learning and suffering together. So I do appreciate that. So let's get ahead with Marcus here. We were at the end of a turn. Looks like we're coming at the end of... Ah, uh, yes, we're going to get some armor for our infantry units. That's nice. That'll help uh, just help that front line hold a little bit more. The question will be, what do we put it into next? Um, probably the artillery. Um, maybe going for the construction reduction time might be a good shout. I really don't see myself dropping down this line anytime soon. And as for these, although... So that's weapon strength. These might be nice to grab. Maybe even the diplomatic relations. Is there one for dark elves? High elves, dwarves, Bretonia. Uh, yeah, so none of those really help. That one maybe I should look at. Melee defense with fighting lizard men. Um, you know, but again, there's a cost associated with that. So recruit rank for infantry. That might be... But there's really upkeep for Empire Knights. That, again, another one we might want to look at. Income from tariffs. Maybe I should head down there, see if that can help with a little bit of the income problem I'm having. So we'll, we'll let that roll over here on this turn, and then we'll come back to that decision. Happy Wednesday. Hump day, as they say. As, or I like to call it Mandalorian Day. It's the new episode, hopefully a new episode of Mandalor the Mandalorian today. I'm really enjoying that series. So, um, it, it's gotten on, this season's been pretty good. There's, again, good episodes, bad episodes. It's, you know, it is what it is. It's war you have. You want to be friends? No. 
No, 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 no. Don't. That's because you're friends with all the lizard men. Why? Don't be doing stuff like that. No, that's not good. I cannot go to war with them right now. Ally has mobilized. Mobilized against army. Excellent. Our ambush got foiled over here. That's fine. We just sort of protecting that. There's the inf Yeah, so... We're gonna go down there. Let's get that income in. I will marshal the Looks like they're trying to build up an army. Luther is trying to do something as fast as he can. This Your army has replenished. So, Hurtwig. Yes, blessed nice. Is Damages this the walls for us, which is a big... Yeah, five breaches. That's beautiful. Orders. Sigmarite up. We're gonna go in here. It's a close victory... Uh, gonna continue the, the siege. Emperor. We can bring this army in over here, but I think we let's replenish it up. Sigma is with us. Okay, we're in foreign territory, so that that's just they're missing one hand gunner. That's fine. We're not gonna take any attrition, are we? Because we're in vampiric land. Us. I'm gonna see what I can do. I think we're just gonna sit for a turn here. To the Whoops. Two. Uh, I mean, yeah, let's sit. We're just going to sit for a turn, uh, which will throw some attrition down. That way, I'll give this an army here a chance to replenish, although it's a terrible replenishment. That's fine. Uh, it'll just stop Luther from recruiting any more units because he got some carronades in there. Some deck, ooh, the deck dropper with bombardier is supposed to be pretty good. Deck gunners, yeah, he managed to recruit a couple of good units in, but hopefully, we can hold off on that. We don't want you to come over here. What's your deal with... We could take these with you. You wouldn't mind that. Uh, we gotta be careful of that, though. Where are you? Where can you go? You could go into the Blood Swamp, apparently. Mm, I'm gonna throw a garrison building in there. Yeah. Can you get to the Awakening? I don't think so. Monster Hunter. I'm gonna garrison him in here because we did reach our condemned level, which gives the lizard men an absolute Yeah, enemy weapon strike plus 20. Is that Is that just for lizard men though? Or is that all enemies? Like, can I see Plus that's a That's quite a terrifying army. Yeah, you are really friendly with those High elves, you pointy little high elves. Why are you so? Why, 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 why? Okay, let's check a quick deals here. Lord of the Saxon special. Elf one's defender. I don't want to go with a defense with you just because you are at war with Marathi and probably Malekith of the dark elves. And the last thing I need to use for them to. Although we managed to completely pimp out this army. It's so nice right now. Why is that halberdier far away from this halberdier? Can someone explain that to me? Is it just because of how I ordered them in? Weird. Huntsman General. Well, we're not going to have you sitting around, that's for sure, while we're... Oh, boy. Yeah, they are, they're getting, oh my goodness, that's a black dragon in there, okay. Where's my weak? Match your peaks, okay. Exotl, you've got, okay, that's fine there. When do we get growth? You just need the money right now, so we can switch you over from growth to income from all buildings. What's my highest earning region right now? What's my lowest? The jungle's over here. And we're on income from all buildings. And you've reached all your income. Did we take... Yeah, we got rid of all the growth. That's why. Okay, cool. Over here. You're about to hit tier 5. That's awesome as well. So you don't need the growth anymore. Income. Am I getting more from trade? No, let's do income then. Definitely income from buildings. Okay, perfect. You just need... Yeah, you just need the money as well. So you can... We've already switched you. Perfect. 
You just need the money as well, though we recruited from over here. Oh my goodness, how long has that been sitting? Let's switch that. And you just need, we just need money. So, that's already there. Jungle webs, Alex, yeah. This is our weak region over here, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we need growth, income. That's all my monies. Good, good, good. Well, Mr. Otto. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's, a, it's all about to pop off over here. Okay. So. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. I think, Otto, you're going to have to sit, but. Yes, my lord. Oh, Tehenawan is coming. So all they have left, is that their only region? Yeah, that's their only region. So as annoying as this will be, in a sense, I don't care. I'm going to take the piece and I'm going to take some money out of it too as well. Just to stop. Just because. I'm gonna throw growth building in there. Three turns so we get a little bit extra garrison. Ooh, goodness. Jeez. So, you can reach there unless you force march. You can reach me. Oh, my goodness. Devotee of the lady. Valiant Lord. Oh my god, do you have enough questing knights in there? That's all horses. You honor me. Interesting. No, I don't need you to pull back. What I need you to do is attack. I had a one, please. That would be nice. I'll crush them all. Are you at war with anyone? I'm trying to figure out what's going on. No, you're at war with the lizard men. That's good. You're not even war with Bordello. I was trying to think about maybe giving these regions to Bordelo to trade for others over here, but I'm thinking it's safer. Well, what if I just Sigma do that? Let's just see. Bow before the rightful lords of the realm, and I will hear your demand. Will you trade? Exotel for. I don't think he will because it just doesn't have. You won't take Thrice Cursed Peak. But you will take mine. To, oh, it's because you're in their region. They're not connected to the. There's no connection to the region. Ugh, frustrating. I'm not sure what to do. Ready. I'm going. I'm not going to sit in. I think is the key here. It is for the best. I'm going to do an ambush, uh, just because if they do bring both armies in and they come to attack us, I can hopefully retreat away a little bit further. It will take attrition though. To the province. Because I don't mind losing. This. What I do mind losing is Otto himself. I like Otto. I don't want him to die. Let me get you some armor, man. Raise hmm. Sigma. Yeah, I've done that. Why would why haven't you? Okay. Mr. Ferrabach. Why don't we go here? We're there. And let's explore the island. And because I don't think we're gonna have any other battles, I'll give you guys a little battle, although this will be basically a big old walkover, but you know. Hopefully you come here for the content of uh, watching me just do battles as well. Plus, I know there was someone who wanted to see a steam tank, so here you go. Steam tank in full view. 
I can have a drink of water. Nice. I thought someone to see these. Yeah, war wagons with mortars. Woohoo! That's because this is gonna be fun. This is gonna this is a fun little army. Halberdiers! Halberdiers? Great swords! Great swords and a nice little Halberdiers! fun front line. Right. Beautiful. Oh yeah, I like this one. I really do because of this sort of rise here that we get. We'll just put these guys on the edge. It'd be really nice to get these special, uh, I think we, they're called the Marines. How many years? Because they fight better in the water because then we, then I definitely would have them sort of in that line like that. Um, how are we going to set these gentlemen up? Ready! Loaded, sir! Yeah. Missile troops. There we go. We will. This is a really fun line of missile troops here. Just trying to keep them a little bit out of the water and give them, get them raised up, so they have a really nice height advantage to shoot over the line. Awesome. We are Sigmar's the war wagons, mortars. So you can kind of like flank and move them around. Let's take a quick look at the look at that. This is awesome. Disappearing. Love it. What a fun and unique unit. Mortar. Just so fun. And I. Boo booed that a little bit. Where's that blacksmith with the birthmark when you need him? What? What, would, what did he just say? Where's that blacksmith with the birthmark when you need him? I love it. By Ulrich's and there's the steam tank. Look at this. Look at this thing. What a great unit. Big cannon on the front, a little one on the back. Steam. And I think if it does, if it doesn't die, it like explodes in a big puff of steam, which is actually kind of, kind of fun. not that I want to see it go down, but. Uh, and also, if you've been paying attention to the Chaos Dwarfs, there's an absolute unit of a mortar steam engine thing. It's so big, and it, despite its fact of being a mortar, um, here's our little huntsman. We'll put him, we'll put him right there. Um, it, like it's also good for just mowing down troops so very fun let's start the battle Ready. steam tank uh let's get you out over here position. let's get the mortars over Taking here too position. i think i need to reshuffle my line ever so slightly so let's just reshuffle we it like that Got some vision now. The way you fire mortars, if you can sort yourselves out, boys. What in the world? There they go. Very cool. Let me get the steam tank to try to shoot their main, their main gentleman. Mortars get you to focus on the missile troops, that's for sure. Find your targets. We are Sigma's heirs. And I think we're gonna drop the HUD away and we're just gonna Kind of let this battle play out because it's it's uh, I think it's gonna be a preconceived victory. I mean, probably take more damage than we need to. Ooh, that's a little creepy.
some buried treasure in there, maybe. Just check to see how we're doing here. Yeah, looking pretty good. Oh, they got carronades, right? Shoot that, please. Bring it down. No mortars. Continue. Continue firing there, please. This here, he throws an oil. I think is how this works. Throw your oil. Come on. Oh, he keeps getting shot right now. That's the problem. works. Did he use it? Oh, he did. Okay, that's good. I didn't see him get to use any of those spells. Okay, mortars. Start focusing on that there. Steam tank, keep shooting. There we go, we've we've got this pretty good. Everyone, go that way. Oh, perfect. We knew that was gonna be a simple win. Uh, 111 losses, probably took a few more. Uh, there, yeah, the pirate gunnery mob do, do do some good damage, and of course the depth guard always strong for the zombie pirates. Steam tank did some good damage. Those mortars, excellent job. And they didn't even, what's nice about them is that ability to sort of move them around and uh, quickly, and not that this army actually came after them, but if it did happen, you can sort of withdraw quickly away from all that, which is grand. So yeah, Bring grab that unit goodness. experience. That's gonna give us a nice little jump to the treasury. Beautiful. What does the Emperor bid? Huntsman um, General! We're gonna jump right into... Uh, no. Let's do some attrition. We're gonna try to keep this Huntsman army... General. Cheap and cheap. Nah, is it... Why? Uh, let's go this way. The course is plotted. Back on land. Get a move on! Get a force march going. Move out! Through that way. Beautiful. Just gotta still keep an eye out for whenever this pops off, because we know that's going to happen sometime soon. Not looking forward to it, but yeah. Uh, um, it's not enough right now, is it? I mean, is that worth it, or is it worth it to jump that up? Probably to do that, so let's not spend any more money there, even though we could. No, we don't want to do that. Yeah, we want to try to get... Um, At least Hexodle, right? Up to its main potential. Uh, that's a good jump of income. Yeah, I'm gonna do that just because it's three turns, just to get a little more boost. Um, and we'll be able to go Mission accomplished. there, maybe. The men Next are weary. One. Oh, no. Huntsman oh. General. Who hasn't moved? Auto. Yeah, we know about that. Do some buildings. Yeah, don't want to do that. Outpost. Nope. Don't care. Um, where do I want to watch? Probably want to watch all this mess here. Yeah, so. Ah. Carl, our wanderer, we are sending over this way. 
Dirk is over here, and we have him over here to keep an eye out on. Oh yeah. Sorceress of the Dark Convent. Be quick about it. Yeah, go fight the High Elves. Don't, don't be getting upset with me. Okay. Just gonna keep you over yes. here, Dirk. Dirk. Okay, cool. And back down to where we want to watch this mess in the turn. Yeah, so I knew that we knew this was coming. It's a decisive victory, though. The problem is we're coming in as reinforcements now. The only question is, if we fight this, which we should win, although what I'd have to do is pull back as far as I could with that weak, weak garrison and try to hold out for almost two minutes before, yeah, I just, I think the auto resolve gives us a good our resolve is works out for us really well but if I were to fight this I think I actually wouldn't do so well and then the issue is does the secondary army of the cult of Sotek come in I'm gonna take the auto resolve yeah so the second army didn't come in I think because we won if I had taken more damage we would have had a bit of an issue and I this I knew was gonna happen so they're going to push out for this battle. Hmm. Not the greatest terrain. Uh, we're coming up on the half hour mark, but I'm going to fight this. This is going to take a little bit, but we're going to do it. Now, Vasily, we're going to go all in there. Is, is Luther going to come out and attack us right away? Or do you think we will, he'll sit back and try to get his reinforcements and that's the question. Because a little bit more on the garrison that's coming in. Getting rid of that carronade is going to be very important. I have a lot of artillery as well. So he's probably going to have to come towards me because I'm going to start pounding the, the living daylights out of him. That's the hope. But we have this awkward forest here. Hmm. That forest doesn't help us with uh, all my artillery, although those can move around, which is nice. Um, okay. Soldiers of the Empire! Soldiers of the Empire. For Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I still have this really weird... Take aim. I think I'm going to do a little bit of a trickery here. Still in Angle of elevation. Angle of elevation, I like that. Oof. just don't like where we're starting in all of this because it just it's just so it really dilutes my artillery and I can't really set them up here because again they got to shoot through all that I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try my best to see if I can take this here take the hill So now you guys can start out here. We're gonna try to use you almost as a blocker. Ready, my lord. Ready. Put their artillery like so. Let's just take a look and see what their view is. It's not great, is it? Show no mercy. Ready for We're gonna war. just ungroup you guys for a second and rotate we are that around so that that's how I want you. Yeah. Gotta get those hell rocket. If 
firing as soon as possible, although I don't see where Luther is hiding right now, which is a little interesting. Start the battle. Good. Oh, he gets his whole army. He starts right out, right on top. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. We're going to see if that can work. Buggy. Stretch you out like that. So, Huntsman. Try to run you guys there if we can. Vasily, Lara, perfect. Maybe it's better just to let them fire, actually. I'm just going to move them there. Let's see how that works out. They do have carronades, right. Oh, I forgot about that. What is shooting from so far away? Deck gunners, wow. Okay. And Luther is on... What is he riding? Oh gosh. I may have... This might be a little more painful than I thought it was going to be. Oh gosh, the hell... Yeah, please shoot them, please. Hellstorm as well. Shoot that Carronades. Or my cannons. Shoot that there. Huntsman. Start shooting as fast as possible, please. Our weapons are yours. Hand gunners. Powder try. Oh my goodness. Nope, nope, nope. I'm making some boo boos after boo boos here. They really love to go after. If you have a unit that is, you know, specialty, they love to take it out. Gosh, don't just stand there, dude. Oh. No. Oh, he's going to die. I'm going to lose Vasily. No, Vasily. Oh my gosh, should be using that more often. I Sigmar's will shoot them. Oh no, my black lions. No. Guns of no. The Empire is yours. Swordsman. Get in there, guys. Your service. We serve the Emperor. Oh boy. Go. Got one bill. One. Swordsman. Get them. Acknowledged. Missile infantry. 
Are you having trouble shooting him right now? Is this, is this the problem? What is going on there? Can you do, please? There we go. Oh, goodness, that's been an issue, hasn't it? Do it again, please. Silly, oh, don't die. I really like you. Come on, guys. There it is. Oh, yeah, so getting rid of Luther was key there. Woo, that was a close one. But everyone survives. Um, yeah, feel the comment down below about how that one went. Maybe some in suggestions. Thank goodness for the look at that. Those are not helpful at all. Five kills. I think we want to get rid of this unit and maybe what would we put in place? I, I just, I understand the veterancies there for the war wagons, but I find them extremely useless. Let's put that on you. There, yeah. So what would we put in this place? Maybe we can get um, something like the War Wagon Hell Blasters. Maybe it might be another safe bet. There we go. We can occupy this. That's going to end the turn and hopefully speak, end the episode. But be wary of what do you say. want? I speak. Warzag? Like, what are you going to do? Like, what does that even mean? Did he create a wall over here? Is that why? You're going to sail all the way over? I don't think so, Wurzeg. In your dreams. I did say I would only take 30 minutes to do this episode. We're already at 38. My goodness. Excellent. I think that's it for... Yes, the Awakened are gone. Goodbye. Um, I will marshal the you can jump back in there. Now. Get some growth in. That'll help the with punishment. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna stop the episode right there. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'm your average potato saying so long and see you on the other side.